Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn about the math class. Some important facts. First, the math class in Java contains a variety of methods that perform different mathematical functions. Second, all methods in a math class are static. For an explanation of static versus non-static methods, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. Third, you can't extend or create an instance of the math class. Let's look at this first method, the ABS method in math. You can pass it an int, a double, a float, or a long, and it will return the absolute value of whatever data type you sent. For example, if we send it the double, negative 3.2 in these parentheses, it will return the double, positive 3.2. Next, let's look at math.pow. We can pass a combination of two ints, doubles, floats, or longs. We can mix and match those primitive types. Math.pow will always return a double, regardless of what data type we send it. Here is an example. In this case, we want to take 3 and put it to the power of 2. So we put our base, a comma, and then our exponent. In this case, our base is an int, and our exponent is a double but it wouldn't have to be this way. 3 to the second power will be 9, so it will return the double 9.0. Next, we have math.sqrt. You can pass either an int, a double, a float, or a long. Math.sqrt will always return a double, no matter what data type you send it. Let's look at this example. Math.sqrt and we're sending the argument an in int 9, and it will return 3.0, because 3 is the square root of 9. Now let's look at this. This is not actually a method. This is a public variable, so we are actually accessing a variable inside the math class. This is a public variable, so we can access it without a getter method. Math.pi is a double variable that is approximately equal to the mathematical constant pi. For example, the variable circumference equals 2 times math.pi times radius. You will notice that there is no open close parentheses after math.pi. That's because pi is a variable and not a method like the others. Let's look at some other useful methods math.cos, so this will give us the cosine of whatever angle we put in these parentheses. math.sin will send us the sine of whatever angle we put in these parentheses. math.tan will send us the tangent of whatever angle we put in these parentheses. math.log will send us the natural logarithm of the number in these parentheses. math.max will take in two values and return the maximum. Math.min will take in two values and return the minimum. Math.round will return a round number. There are a number of other methods, and you can see the details of all the methods in the math class by checking the reference document for the math class in Java. To see all the methods in the math class, or to see the details of the ones we've discussed in this video, Either type math class Java into Google and choose the first result, or type this address into your web browser. To see the next video in the sequence, please click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.